For many high schoolers, prom is much more than a dance, but a night to create memories that last a lifetime. In St. Paul today, a local nonprofit helped hundreds of girls find their perfect dress and accessories all for free. Kirsten Mitchell shows us how Project Fairy Godmothers is helping make prom dreams come true. There's no shortage of sparkle at Project Fairy Godmothers' prom giveaway. I've never really went dress shopping like this before, so this is kind of new to me, but it's really fun. But perhaps the brightest light is on the faces of the girls who found their perfect dress. She looks so beautiful. Like Andover Jr., Ashlyn Hodnafield. I saw it here. And it, it, just, it just fit. It was a moment that brought her mom Sherry to tears. She's had struggled for a few years on other medical issues, so to be able to have this one star moment for her um, is more than what I could ask for as a parent. Organizers say 230 girls registered for this event from 62 schools across the Twin Cities, even as far as Mankato and Iowa. The donated dresses, shoes, purses, jewelry, makeup tutorials, yes. and alterations, all free, leaving all that's left to do, enjoy prom night. The one memories. like big last hurrah with all your friends. <laughs> we have shoppers of all different sizes. We have shoppers that speak different languages so that any of the girls and their families can really feel like this is an event tailored to them. More than 70 volunteers paired with the girls. The last hour of the giveaway is dedicated specifically to helping shop for young women with disabilities. Let's do it. Kara McLynn is a school social worker, but Saturday, a fairy godmother. Families have just been through so much these past two years, and when I think about the developmental milestones and what prom means to kids, they've just missed out. For some of these girls, this kind of opportunity just wouldn't be available to them, but for us, it, we feel like every single person deserves to feel like Cinderella, and so today is that day for these girls. In St. Paul, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Project Fairy Godmothers is looking for more donations of shoes and jewelry. So if you'd like to help out or make a financial donation, we have those details on WCCO.com.